Hey everyone, CPO here, and today is another update video on the status of those products that I'm using to hopefully black out the fenders on this old TJ of ours. And uh, yeah, let me just pull them down and talk a little bit about where we're at today. This is three weeks after the original, two weeks, two weeks after the original application. I've done a one week update. This will be the two week update, but there is a catch. Stand by. All right, so first let's take a look at this piece. Remember this was uh, unfinished on this side. This was flow shine on this side. Um, you can still see some remnants of it there, but it's mostly washed away. So that makes me sad. I mean, it might be a little bit better, but not by much. So I think I'm about done sort of looking at this. I might just put that back on. Now, as far as these guys go, uh, let's get the order here. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five. All right, let me just give you a quick perusal of them and you'll notice a couple of things here. These now have some activity. So let's talk about that. You guys wanted me to use peanut butter. Like a lot of you did. I kept getting requests for peanut butter. Like I get it, peanut butter. Also, I got requests for using a heat gun but that's not the purpose of this video. It's to show a comparison of products, but uh, you know, you guys, you have my heart. So this is peanut butter. I put it on a week ago. This is vegetable oil because I was like, well, what is it about the peanut butter? It's just the oils in there. So I tried vegetable oil as well. This is that after a week. This is using a heat gun, again, after one week. So the rest of these are at two weeks in Florida sun and rain. And you can see now my control is gonna be down here, the actual fender. The flow shine is a little bit darker, but almost all the way back to where it was before. The Cerakote, still nice and shiny and black, if you're into that sort of thing. Actually, you can see, yeah, I mean, it's really shiny and still black. Uh, this is the, crap, what was that? Oh, Chemical Guys VRP. It's worse than Flow Shine, splotchy. I mean, it is all the way back with some splotchiness. So it's it's uglier than it was when we started. This is Mother's Back to Black. Still holding up actually fairly nicely, to be honest with you. And then of course this is, we're in the shade here. Let me get a little sunlight on these. Just so you can really see that is with the heat gun bringing back out that shine by uh, melting the top layer a little bit. So I don't know what your thoughts are on those. Let's look at the other contenders here. Again, peanut butter after a week. Uh, you know, it's not that great. It looked really good when I first did it. And then the oil is about the same. Let's see, this is Garage One. It's bad. Uh, it's almost as bad as VRP. VRP is more splotchy. These are my two dyes. This is that black stuff, and this is Forever Black. Both of them are still holding up really well. As a matter of fact, I don't really notice a difference between uh, the first day of application and two weeks later. And then this is Armorall Outlast. 
So Armoral Outlast is faded. Um, it's probably, let me look here. How would I rate these? So I know all you guys keep saying peanut butter. Peanut butter sucks, if you ask me. Not that great. Maybe if I did it a bunch uh, and the squirrels don't eat my uh, fenders. Shout out to Jeep Mama for that one. Um, it may have some potential, but just doing it like you would do any of these other products, it sucks. So uh, if you want to take the time and heat gun it, that's not a bad option, but you have to be careful not to melt your plastic. I'm sure this is gonna hold up well over time, but it's not a product. Anyway, uh, so yeah, if I just look at these right now, do, 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 do. <sighs> these are not worth my time. Back to Black still, I think, is worth it. If you can do regular upkeep, we'll see how long that stays. Again, if you like shiny, Cerakote, no question, uh, holding the best finish long-term. Uh, and if you like the matte, dull uh, finish, the two dyes are basically neck and neck. They're, uh, if you want that black stuff, it's a little bit lighter of a shade of black than Forever Black. Other than that, they're pretty identical. All right, so there you go. That is the two week update on these products. Uh, the ones that are getting worse are just gonna continue to get worse week over week. Uh, but we'll check in with them next week again. Those that don't seem to be degrading at all, I guess the question is, is how long does that last? So the Cerakote claims to last for 200 washes. So I don't know how many weeks of Florida sun and rain that is, but we're gonna find out. Uh, Mother's back to black again. I'm surprised, man, this is, I've used this before. I know it doesn't last forever, but it's it did a lot better than I expected it to. And then uh, and then the dies. So a couple things, right? If you're going to do this to your Jeep, uh, the dies I would recommend unless you tape everything off. You want to pull the fenders using the heat gun. I would definitely pull them and try not to do that on the vehicle. Just my thoughts. Uh, anyway, guys, I don't know what you think of how things are going. Does anything surprise you yet? Uh, I know uh, I've been contacted about other products. Unfortunately, they didn't make the cut because I sort of snapped a chalk line when I made this video and said, I wanna see how these do. It uh, doesn't mean I'm not gonna test other products in the future, so feel free to keep telling me about products that you know about that are good for this. And remember, you can always just replace your fenders. I think you can get an entire TJ Fender Flare set for under 150 bucks. So just, you have to decide how much trouble and how much time and effort you wanna spend trying to get these things back to black, trademark, no pun intended, but how much effort you wanna to do to get them restored and then how much effort you wanna to do to keep them restored versus just buying a whole nother set. Anyway guys, that's it, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.